Today I want to talk about building another solar node, a cheaper alternative to my previous video, one that will have a solar panel mounted on the box itself. The only difference is the antenna won't be on top of the box, it will be separated with a security camera mount. I'll have a picture here. Yeah, that. So the ultimate goal of this is to separate the mount, give you some separation from the pole. Originally it was something like this. This mount goes here and then you're zip tying yourself or your node to a pole. In this video we're going to cover what you need for this build, how to build it, and then a few useful tips. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like meshtastic stuff and want to learn more, please follow along, subscribe, and like this video. And let's get started. Let's not waste your time. Let's cover everything that you'll need for this project, starting with the solar panel. This is a five watt solar panel that you can buy on Amazon. They're not very expensive, but I've used them on a lot of nodes. I'm very happy with them. And I'm confident with the performance of these nodes. Next, you're gonna need an enclosure. This is the one that I like. I've used it on probably over 500 nodes at this point and it's compact, it fits everything really well and I'll have no complaints, it's very watertight. You'll need your rack whiz block. This is just, you know, your standard mesh-tastic node. In there you have a Bluetooth antenna and an adapter which is the IPX2 SMA. You will need a security camera mount like this one right here, this white one. Along with that, you will have a few metal zip ties included. Now to run, this is an example, you will need a SO239 or PL239, I don't remember the name of it, to a SMA adapter, this one right here, this type. So you'll need one of these. Then you will need some way to attach this box to the mount. And I just 3D printed a block that has the holes and then a quarter 20 tap. I'll have the 3D print file available for you down in the description. If you don't have a 3D printer or know anybody with a 3D printer, I'll put it up on my shop and I'll make it as affordable as possible for you. Or if you can find another way to attach this, careful drilling, you don't wanna drill. However, you can use zip ties or something like that if you don't wanna buy this. Some Velcro straps, I think a lot of people have them. Just make sure they're not metal. This is for attaching the battery to uh, the enclosure or to the bracket. This is the bracket. You don't need this. This is kind of like a luxury item. Uh, it's just something that I've been using on all my nodes. Basically your node goes on here and then the bracket goes on top. Everything is nice and snug. Um, so yeah, once again, files will be in the description to print one. And if you can't print one, then you can purchase one on my shop. Find somebody with a printer or invest in a printer because you know, this stuff is very accessible nowadays. You'll need a grommet, if I can focus, please. Um, basically a grommet, this will allow the cable to go through just like that. Oh, and an antenna. This is a 915 megahertz antenna, high gain antenna. You will need a screwdriver. I hope that you have one. You will need some super glue, a box cutter, a drill of some sort. This is my go-to. I love it because it has multiple attachments like this drill. I had one for um, kind of like the regular screwdriver bits. However, I lost it. And then you need a way to cut a hole like this. So whatever you can do for me, it's this multi-tool right here. Uh, I'll link something in the description. Uh, I'll see if I can find like a very cheap alternative. This one's a little pricier. And yeah, this is everything that you need for this project. So let's go on and start the build. Little side note, sorry to interrupt. This video is not sponsored by anyone except for me, I guess, my Patreon. It's brand new, I'm trying to give back to you and I'm trying to make sure that it is worth your money and worth your time. If you want to support whatever we're creating here, please consider checking out my Patreon and the features that we have there. All right, take care, thank you. All right, starting off with making the hole in the enclosure. You wanna measure out your solar panel to make sure that the hole that's in the enclosure is the right size. Remember, you can always make the hole bigger. You cannot make it smaller. I usually make a few pilot holes and use the oscillating saw to make the actual square hole. I'll use something like a box cutter to go and just clean it up because it's rough around the edges and then get your act together and vacuum and clean up your station. You wanna test fit the solar panel, make sure everything fits, your hole is the right size. If it's a little too big, don't worry about it. Next up, we need to drill a hole for the rubber grommet. 
This is to be in the center of your box or the bottom of your enclosure. Make sure that you kind of test and see how it will work out for you to make sure that the hole is not too big. Just take your time with this one. Once again, you can make it bigger, but you can't make it smaller. Once you have the hole, you can go take apart the little mesh or the little plastic piece in there, tighten up your grommet and begin to assemble your actual mesh tastic node. Your mesh node will come with a few parts in it. It will have your 915 megahertz antenna that we'll use to program the radio. We'll have a Bluetooth antenna, the mesh node itself, and a few extra cables. Right now, we just wanna go attach it all together to the case or the enclosure itself. We'll attach the antennas, remember, We want to make sure that we flash the firmware. Simple, select your device, make sure you get the latest stable version, click flash, continue, download it, save it somewhere, connect your node, or copy and paste the installation files into your node. Once you're fully updated, you can just go put your enclosure into your enclosure, I guess, but basically put that little uh, bracket into your enclosure clean everything up, you can go and peel back the adhesive on the Bluetooth antenna and mount it wherever you want it. I usually put it in that kind of top corner. At this point, you can go and attach your battery or prep it at least. We're gonna go and put our little IPX to SMA adapter here. This will be used to mount the antenna cable or to connect the antenna cable with this little adapter. Now let's prep our actual security camera mount. I'll be quick with this, very simple. You get all the screws, the hardware that you need. You get the zip ties. You will have your uh, SO239 or whatever it's called adapter to SMA. Excuse the aggression, it was a little annoying. But basically you take your adapter, there it is, and just thread it through that hole. Very simple, very straightforward. Make sure that it's tight and that's it. Once it's ready, you can use that rubber grommet, take it apart, put that little plastic piece into the cable and then slip it in. And then you use the IPX, IPEX to SMA and that the SMA, you kind of just screw them together just like that. And that's it. Now you can tighten your uh, grommet together and you are almost done. There you go, I think. Voiceovers are hard sometimes. Uh, get your little Velcro strap. We're gonna put the antenna in. This will keep your battery nice and organized for you. It's not gonna flop out when you open it. Just make sure that your USB cable, everything kind of fits properly. Just like that. Now this part's very important. A lot of batteries come with reverse polarity. You want your positive and negative to be uh, according to what your mesh-tastic node desires. In this case, you need to swap them around. The left and the right, you kind of need to, or the positive and negative, you just need to swap them just like that. Very, very important. Or you will just smell magic smoke, which you don't want to smell. That means that you just fried your node. And just make sure that red and black align with what is on the node itself, just like that. And now we're gonna throw our battery in, Velcro strap it down, you can plug it in, but make sure when you plug it in, you have an antenna attached. The solar panel is now gonna get glued together. I usually snip that 12 volt barrel connector because we don't need it. And at this point, that Gorilla Glue comes into play. We're gonna make sure everything is leveled, prop it if you need to, and we just pour that Gorilla Glue. And I usually do it multiple times, give it time. This part is a little tedious, but I, you, you know you wanna make sure that everything is nice and watertight. And at that point, we are ready for the camera mount assembly. As far as mounting the enclosure to your mesh node, 
I apologize I don't have it in this clip because I sold the block that I had, but that black block that has a quarter 20 thread right here would be screwed on to the back of the enclosure with these four screws. The ones that come with your enclosure. At that point, this will become one, you married the two parts and you're able to go and set up the security mount to this node. Basically, you line up the hole, which will be you know, somewhere in the center, and you just use a screwdriver. There is, oh, I apologize. There is a screw that comes with the security camera mount, and you just screw it in just that. At that point, you are ready to rock and roll. You have your antenna mount, that antenna mount will go through the bottom of your node into that little grommet and you're all set. I'm gonna just have some pictures playing of mounting options as far as this build while I ramble off about some tips and tricks that I've learned. Uh, first thing is make sure that everything is connected and tested before you mount it to a pole, meaning make sure that you can connect to it uh, through your phone, make sure that the battery is charging, the solar panel is charging, meaning go outside, make sure nothing is faulty. The last thing you want to do is put it up on a pole and then be like, man, nothing works. And last but not least, please subscribe to this channel. Next week, we'll be building a Faraday cage out of an ammo can. So if you're into that, uh, follow along because that'll be a fun project that I want to test. And I actually want to do some actual testing, like throw a radio in there and see if I can penetrate uh, bad word, uh, if I can uh, connect. So yeah, thank you for watching. Take care.